Hello my lovies! Welcome back to my channel! hello my lovies welcome back to my channel it is a new year and i am trying to please more of you lovies um and there was a couple of you that have been asking for my skincare and um my makeup routine um so i'm here to give it to you to give you guys all the tea because i'm not a gatekeeper so i am gonna let y'all know exactly what it is i use if you're new to my channel, welcome to the fan bam love you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notification. <laughs> Enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, first things first, I am not a professional makeup artist. This is just what I use, what I do, and I found what works for me. Um, and as you see, I don't have no fancy setup. I literally sit on the floor in front of a mirror and do my makeup. So that's just it. It is what it is. It is what works for me. And yeah. Um, so before we get into my skincare routine, um, I am on birth control. I do use birth control, um, which I know it's helped my skin clear up uh all its acne that it had i used to have really bad acne here like on my chin area and like my bone i mean my jawline um and yeah so now as you can see like it's clear i it's red because well here i was scratching just now um but over here my cheeks are always red because i do have rosacea um and i have freckles like lots and lots of freckles so yeah i do use birth control which i know helps with like the pimples and stuff like that so that's just a you know i don't want y'all thinking that i'm walking around here with perfect skin because honey that was not always the case um and literally all i do to cleanse my face every single day i do use this every single day is the purity made simple face uh one step facial cleanser this i find has worked miracles for me like i think that's also one of the things that's helped my face so much because fun fact um when i was younger i never cleansed my face never used moisturizer and that's when i had the most acne so i think that also had something to do with it um but you know as you get older you want to take care of your skin so this is literally what I use every day in the shower. Like I'll use it while I'm showering and then I just take, um, what do you call it? That little tool with the scrubs on it. It's like a vibrator, not a vibrator. <laughs> it's like a tiny little face thing and just scrub that good on my skin. And then when I get out of the shower, all I use, these are the moisturizers. I combined, it's Cetaphil. I combined the the daily oil-free facial facial moisturizer and the, the hydrating lotion. I combine those two. I take two pumps of each and I take it and I just, this one has SPF. The facial moisturizer has SPF in it. So this is a little thicker. And then the hydrating lotion is thinner, as you guys can hear. Um, so two pumps of each. And then I just put it all over my face and my chin, drag it down my neck a little bit. And I got this for Christmas, the Clinique Moisture Surge. I got like um, an Ulta Beauty set and have been using this. This was in it. And I have to say, I do like it. I didn't put it on today, so I'll go. I literally just take like a little bit. And so far, I've been liking it. 
I feel like it keeps my face extra hydrated. Uh, so yeah. The Cedar Pill I put on right when I get out of the shower. And just let it dry. Uh, because I heard... That's what I mean by dragging down your neck. And then I just fix my double chin a little, you know? <laughs> so yeah. So honestly, that's all I use for my um, facial routine every day. That's it. Nothing fancy and nothing crazy. When I take off my makeup, I use Neutrogena uh, makeup remover wipes, the blue pack. And that's all. Like, nothing crazy. Uh, so, yeah. So, let's get into this makeup look. This is, like, my everyday makeup look. It's not that much different than the last the last makeup, everyday makeup look I put up was, like, two years ago, I think. Mm, and it's not much different from that because I believe in if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There are a couple of things I changed, but... This is just personally what works for me. So after you moisturize, because please moisturize, it's like number one key. Um, I go in with primer. So I have been using the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And it's bomb. Like bomb.com. As you can see, I need to get a new one. Um, but a little goes a long way, so I literally take, this comes with like a little spatula thingy, but I never use it, so I just take my nail and just, like, I put the littlest amount. Um, and just rub that all over my face. If you see me look this way, it's because I do have a mirror over here. So, just in case you guys are like, what the hell is this beach looking at? And as you can see, I literally just sit on the floor. Like, my radiator is right here. It's busted. Don't you judge me. It's New York shit. Um, and then for foundation, this is like the number one. This is what I use for my concealer. And my foundation i use a beauty blender so i use for foundation revlon literally drugstore revlon color stay 24 hours i use the combination oily this has never done me wrong i've tried other foundations and um i literally do like half pumps all over my face I've used other, and then you just take your beauty blender and obviously beat it out. I've used other foundations, but honestly, nothing has worked better. Like, and like I said, I hate change and I hate trying new products because my skin is so sensitive like super sensitive so if i use a new product and i break out i get frustrated because it's like bruh i could have avoided this <laughs> and i've used the color stay for years like years i put a little bit to me it's like not full full coverage it's like medium but I don't mind it because then I put my concealers. I don't like to look cakey. I really don't. So I, when I go on with my concealer, you know, it covers up anything else I really don't like showing. That's just me though. But I know a lot of people like full coverage. And that's fine. It's whatever works for you guys. Listen, there's no right way to do makeup, okay? I hate when people say that. There's literally no one way to do makeup. 
so it's whatever works for you works for you so this is the coverage and this is with half pumps so literally what is it i use a half pump here half pump here half pump here and here so it's with two hole pumps and yeah that's the foundation portion uh, then I just over it a little. I put a little bit of uh, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder. Um, I use this in. Oh, and I'm not telling you guys the colors I use right now because it's the winter time for the foundation. Um, my tan is fading out. Um, so I use 220 natural beige, and then a 220 in natural beige in this one as well. And I just take a little bit and dab it on with a powder brush. This is from e.l.f. I get this one all the time because I like it. e.l.f. got some good brushes and they're not that expensive, but I like it. Like I said, I don't like to look cakey, so I use the littlest amount. We'll put everything back later. Um... Then I do my brows. I don't like doing my brows on camera because as you can see, this brow is like semi-decent and then this one's all fudged up. Um, they're not like twins. They're like evil stepsisters, you know? So I literally just take, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. A good dupe for this is the e.l.f. Um, e.l.f., you hear me? Not e.l.f. The NYX brow pencil. It looks just like this. I'll insert a photo for you guys. Uh, the NYX one, I think, is like 11 bucks or something. Or it have, it, maybe it's gone up. I haven't used it in a little long time. Because the Anastasia Beverly Hills, this one's like 20 bucks, And it lasts me a very long time. Um, so, yeah, I, this is the only thing I use for my brows except for to what I used to set it but I just take the pencil and then I can't I don't think I, can. I just trace the bottom see I trace the bottom I outline the top and then I just fill in with like light strokes so you see I just outlined the bottom and then outline the top into the shape that you want and it's literally light. Like, I'm not going heavy, like, you know. And then you just fill. You just fill it in lightly. And then it's okay, like, if it's not the perfect shape, we're gonna fix that with concealer. And then you just, with the brush, I put it up. Brush it out so there's no harsh lines. And then lightly, I'll just, anything I need to fix until your brows are where you want them. When you're done filling in your brows and they're to your decent liking, I just go in and I set it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I just go in. Put a little bit, brush a little bit through each one. And then I take the brush from the brow pencil and just brush it in because I don't want them to be hard, stiff, you know? I like my brows to look as natural as possible. But still, you know, decent. You know what I mean? And then it's okay if you see, like, either your hair is growing back or they're not, like, as smooth as you want it. I just go in with a little bit of concealer. Um, whatever concealer you want. A flat brush. This is, again, the e.l.f. one. Yeah, e.l.f. Professional, 
professional eyeliner brush but I use it for to fix my brows just take a little bit of concealer and then you just fix wherever it is that you don't like so you see this is like how I fixed it up and then you just take your brush and clean up brush it away I use my finger for any access guys sometimes your fingers are your best tools okay so don't think just because you don't have a certain brush you can't do it you gotta improvise guys improvise and that's all i do for my brows it's honestly pretty damn pretty damn simple so now we move on to eyeshadow um i'm the type of person when i find like a palette that i love i use that palette up like it is the palette i use so right now it's the ColourPop That's Taupe palette. I'm all for the taupes, all for the browns. Like, I love neutrals, guys. I love neutrals. Um, so I go in just in my crease with the two lightest colors, which is Boa and Pebble Beach. I go in with a fluffy fluffy brush i've had this for so long i can't even tell you like even a dog got to it and chewed it up my friend's dog <laughs> years ago i think this was a sigma brush though if i'm not mistaken so i just take those two colors tap it out and then i just put it into my crease for every day i really do not go heavy just because I don't like heavy ass makeup. I don't like feeling like I'm wearing a whole bunch of crap on my face, even though I am. Um, and I've learned to love like my natural skin, like without makeup. I love wearing no makeup, guys. I used to be obsessed with makeup. But I've toned it down so much. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to I used to not be able to go outside without wearing makeup. And now I still love makeup, but definitely I love the days where I don't wear makeup because I feel I feel like my face breathes. So yeah. I just do this to give it a little more dimension, you know? And then on my eye area here, I just take a flat brush. Uh, this is the, this I got like in a makeup subscription or something. This is the Van Vasanti. I don't know if I'm even saying it right, eyeshadow brush. So it's literally just a flat brush and I'm going in with their sparkle color right here which is I use this so much that it's not even slated <laughs> and I just take a little bit on the brush and I place it right there bam just to make my eyes sparkle a bit and sometimes the brush doesn't do its best, but I'll show you what I do. Like sometimes I want it more sparkly. Cause you know, love me some sparkle. So I take my pinky, put it in there. See? And that makes it pop more. See the difference? Okay. 
And then I just do the same to the other side. Don't judge my ugly makeup faces, guys. And then just to warm up like the edge, the corner. Not warm it up. To make it more defined, I take, this is the Morphe, Morphe brush M433. So it's a little smaller, but fluffier. And I go in with uh, the dark color. So this is called Bedrock. This like dark brown right here. I take a little bit, pat it, and then just go in the corner a little bit to add a little more dimension. And you want to drag it into your crease a little, not too far in, just to give it a little more dimension. And it looks like you have a black eye at first, but don't worry. We're going to blend it out. Don't be scared. So once you see... They're even to your liking. You take that same brush you started with, you know, the chewed up dog one. And you blend it out. So it's not harsh, but you still have that little bit of dimension. And you want to blend everything together. It looks so much better. Obviously, if it was nighttime and I'm like going out to like a club or a lounge, this would be a lot darker. I don't go out to clubs and lounges no more, but if I was going out somewhere and it was nighttime, this would be so much darker. But this is an everyday look. So that's that and then under your eyebrow right here in your eyebrow bone i just take um whatever white color you have this is the tarte palette i got this years ago make yourself make make believe in yourself but i don't think they have it no more and then I'm just going in with the white shimmery in the center there. I just put the tiniest bit on the tip and I just put it right here to the end and like a little more than halfway here just to brighten that up. Like, you see the difference? <laughs> like, this is so old that the top came off, so. like i said guys i don't like change so i keep the products till like they're done and then i take my fluffy brush dog bitten one once more and just blend that together so there's no harsh lines because if there's one thing i hate is harsh lines we try to look effortlessly here so just so you know we smooth baby and that's all for my eyeshadow then i if i'm going out i do like the liner with the wing but this is every day and lately i have not been doing that so we're not gonna do that if you guys do want to see how i do my wing then i'll link my other video that i did two years ago because it's Exactly the same how I do the wing. The only thing is, is I've been using the Anastasia liquid liner to do it. Um, just because it was gifted to me. And, you know, can't let it go to waste. Um, so, we're going to skip over that. Um, for my con Then I go in with my concealer. 
And this is my all-time favorite concealer. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. Can't tell me nothing about this. You can't tell me nothing. And I use it in a 20B, which is light because, like I said, this is like my winter. So I just take a little bit and I just go in here. I do like a upside, like a L kind of like this. Choo -choo. And then a little right there. Do the same here. And then pop up. And then a little bit there, right here, here, and here. I just go in literally once. Because we don't like cakey. And then just blend that puppy out. So, yeah. That's all we do, boo. And we're tapping, we're not dragging. Okay, <laughs> we want to tap in. Oh, and then for the under eye, we just do, 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 do. in a triangle shape, you want to keep it. Okay, and drag upwards because you see the difference, it makes it look up rather than that round face you know because i have a very round face so we keep triangle shape to make it look slimmer and more lifted and just blend it out till you like it and then with the other side that we did the foundation with we just blend out like i said no harsh lines so we blend out the concealer line everywhere where you applied concealer you just go over it real quick no harsh lines guys okay if there's anything you take away from this video it's no harsh lines i like to set my concealer in just because i feel like if not it starts looking a little cakey so i use the laura mercier translucent powder and i take a what is this uh, expert face brush by real techniques they also have really good brushes and they're not that pricey take a little bit and then i just put it here where i put the concealer i don't put it over here because then the highlighter highlighter doesn't um doesn't look as bright so I just let that bake there for a little bit. And while that's baking, we're gonna do our, what do you call that? Contour. So I use the Too Faced, Too Faced Chocolate Soul Matte Bronzer, Longwear Matte Bronzer. This is like my all time favorite one. I just go in and this is a, Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. This also got sent to me in a, um, in a, like it's so old and beat up. In one of my makeup subscriptions. And I just go in and where you see this indent right here, that's like my cheekbone going in. It helps if you just do the fishy face. <laughs> Mm. and go up and I drag it up here like you see 
Uh, bitch already looks skinnier. <laughs> and you just do the same to the other side. Now, we're, I also like to put down here, you know, where your double chin is. Just to make it look a little slim slimmer. <laughs> and don't worry, we're going to blend everything out in the end. So if it's looking a little harsh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. We got this. And then you just put a little bit up here. In your, what is that called? Your temple area. And then drag it here, connect it. Someone taught me, like, when they were teaching me how to do contour. Not by someone, I mean on YouTube, because that's where I learned it. You do, like, a three, so it's choop, choop. That's my best way I could explain it to you guys. Which makes sense. And then don't put away the bronzer yet because after that, we take a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 187, hella old as well. Brush away that uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder. You're done baking. So you're just brushing away like the axis. And then you take with your Too Faced bronzer powder. Um, this is, I don't even know, this does not have a name. It's never had a name. It's like a little tiny, looks like kind of like your flat brush, but not really. Take that bronzer, put the littlest amount. And then I like to contour my nose as well. A lot of people don't care to do this. Uh, I do. Just because I feel like it completes the look. Makes everything come together. So, now you're done with your bronzer. Then, don't get scared, guys. Alright, don't get scared. You're going to look crazy for a second. Then I take my Too Faced. This is... Too Faced Perfect Perfect Flush Blush. This is in Sparkling Bellini. Um, I thought they don't make this no more, but my little sister actually found it for me. And this is my all-time favorite blush because you see how it has like three different colors. It has like a dark, a medium, and then a light. This is the Real Technique uh, Blush 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 brush if you see my cat back there oreo and then i just swipe it across all three tap tap suck it in or no i actually smile not suck it in sorry smile and then on the cheeks and then you go upwards because upwards it's gonna make you look slimmer I focus on the apples of my cheeks. And then the same to the other side. So once you have as much to your liking. Everything's to your liking. Then I take a brolic. <laughs> this is a Real Techniques brush as well. But, oh, right here. A powder brush. And then you're gonna blend everything out on your face, okay? 
and you're gonna blend it. I'm going pretty hard because we don't want harsh lines. So you're gonna blend everything out. This is where you get your arm work out. <laughs> So you see, like, there's no, like, really harsh line. You're blending your blush and your contour here. And once it's blended out to your liking. Which I think we're pretty good here. You go in with your highlighter. My cat's over here being nosy and whatnot. So I have a bunch of different highlighters. I'm going to be using this one, Becca Cosmetics Opal. So this is the tapered highlighter brush, Luxie 522. Tap, tap it out. And you're just putting a little on top of where you applied your blush, but not, you're not going to drag it all the way down. Just a little bit. And then I put a little bit up here to make me look a little brighter. And highlighter, you put as much or as little as you like. And then I take a small tapered brush. This is Morphe as well, I think. It's just, like I said, hella old, so it doesn't have anything. Take a little bit, and then you put it down the center of your nose. And then a little on the tip. You're doing like an exclamation point. See? And then you take, you put a little on top of your lip bone here a little on the two lines that are there and then a little bit on your chin so basically where you put your wherever you want your face to be accentuated when the light hits it and then I take my beauty blender the other side not the one that you use your contour the clean side and because it's moist you want it put where you put the contour, I mean the contour, you wanna put it over the highlight to just uh, blend in with your powder on your face. This makes it look softer and not like there's like powder sitting on top, you know? And if you guys wanna know where I learned all this from, I didn't go to makeup school, nothing. I literally just watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Then I take a little bit of setting spray I use the NYX Matte Finish and spray a little bit. We're going to spray again, but hold on. We got to finish with our eyes here. I have an eye curler here. This is a Tarte one. Hella old. I just go in, curl my top lashes. Please be careful doing this. I put it in then bounce for like 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you do one eye first and then the other and the mascara i use is the lancome monsieur big this is my holy grail so i'm all up in the camera just take it Put a little bit at the roots, go up, wiggle, wiggle. And then you go on top and brush out. This is one coat, okay? And then you're gonna put a little bit on the bottom. Boom. 
Bottom is optional. Not everybody likes doing the bottom. It's up to you, boo boo. Up to you. And then that lets the top dry a little bit. So now we're gonna go in with a little bit more. See why I love this mascara? Like, these are my natural lashes, by the way. And they're not the longest. And then you just repeat on the other side. So once your mascara is how you like it, the last step I do is eyeliner on the bottom, which I use the NYX Professional Makeup Jet Black Eyeliner. And then I just put it in my waterline here. This is optional. People like to put white under here uh, to make their eyes more open. I've never tried that, but I may try it this year. Who knows? We'll see how I feel about it. I just feel like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we're going to try new things this year. And then you take a little more of your finishing spray. And then spray a little more. And then we cannot forget the lips. So I just clean up whatever foundation is on them because it's you're bound to get some on there. My go-to lip lately, these are all the ones I carry in my bag. My go-to like lipstick look is the NYX. Uh, nude beige uh, lip liner I have like a ton of these because I go through them like crazy and this is the 857 number 857 and then the lipstick is the Carly Bible it was the Il Maquillage it was like a special line they did in the color Taurus so it has been this combo but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to do, we're going to do a gloss. So I always use the Fenty glosses and this is in Fussy. Um, and then this is like a lip oil that I got for Christmas and it's pretty good. It's the Ulta brand. Um, so you could use that too, whatever floats your guys' boat. So we just, I overline my lips a little bit, not anything crazy. Uh, I literally go like that over my actual lip. Just because if not, I have no lips. And then I just go down here, down here, down here, lightly, just to add some more dimension. See how it's like the perfect, it's not anything crazy. And then we're gonna go with Fenty Fussy. Uh -huh. And that's all she wrote, guys. This is literally my everyday makeup look. Um, don't mind my... I just wear that to get my hair out of my face. But yeah, that's literally it. It's nothing crazy. That's all. All right, my lovies. And don't forget, give this video two big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to join the fam bam. If you guys like this and you want more videos like this, please feel free to comment down below and let us sister know. And I'll be more than happy to keep giving you guys all my little tips and tricks. <laughs> Until next time, remember, let's spread positive vibes, good laughs, and yummy eats, even though this isn't, a, this isn't one of those videos, but... 
we gonna go with it <laughs> peace